Hey guys, what's up? Bicyclotron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video. And I know you guys probably want to see some more live attacks, attack strategy videos, stuff like that. So I'm going to do my best to keep the other series uh, continuing. Um, but for now, we have another war recap. This is going to be a fun one because I have um, some nice attacks to show, a little bit of some different stuff. Now, we did lose some to the maintenance break and they wiped clean all the replays, uh, but still have about half of them to choose from, so I had a pretty good selection. Looking at this war, um, kind of a typical clan you face. Uh, the Town Hall 9s are mostly 2 star and 1 star with an occasional 3 star and then all the 8s were 3 star. So typically kind of what you see. Then I think they only had 2 Town Hall 10s and they were both 2 star and everything else was taken care of uh, Town Hall 9 and below. Uh, so we're going to start up top here. Um, someone actually ended up getting a higher percentage of Town Hall 10 attacked the base and got more percentage than me, but I was the first one that actually two-star the top base. So I want to show this because we don't see Town Hall 9s two-starring the high-level Town Hall 10s much on the channel. So I thought I'd show this. Um, and it was kind of an interesting attack. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, fast forward to when it starts. Just dropping a wizard up top to create a funnel for my queen walk. And then I've been I've liked doing this lately. We're basically dropping down a giant. And that way, um, if there's a lot of point defense, the queen's not going to have to worry about getting targeted initially. Um, because the healers don't heal the queen as much as they heal the giant. It's just how Supercell did it to make the queen walk uh, not as powerful. And the same thing works for like heal spells and rage spells. They work better on normal troops than the heroes. Um, but you can see the healers eventually switch onto the queen once she's being targeted. And the giant's at full health. So, um, yeah, that's a little tricky way to do it. you got to make sure that the healers are going to switch onto the queen. So make sure she gets targeted by something. Uh, near the healer so they switch on to her but it uh, worked out very nicely here and I didn't have to worry about the queen getting too low initially uh, with those two point defense and the wizard tower and all that stuff in the area. Um, I actually didn't expect her to engage the enemy queen right here but she did so I had to drop a rage because the ability was already used and she gets a little bit low against that level 40 uh, queen a little bit close but I get the job done obviously I had to use her ability um, but no big deal uh, don't really need it necessarily as long as the golems are tanking. Uh, so coming in on the bottom here with three golems and some wizards, those golems are all kind of stacked up in that. And then a giant and a few wizards on the left side just to take out that cannon. Um, now a CC of giants, that's going to soak up the multi-inferno. Uh, go ahead and quake, and uh, letting everything into that big compartment. And then drop like four Valks just to get in there and take out some of the uh, clumped up buildings in the area. I have three rages, so I'm just using them early and often. Drop another rage there. And those giants, the golems, the king, and the wizards doing a lot of work. Um, that multi-inferno goes down right here. And uh, if I had another jump spell, I probably would have gotten even more percentage. Uh, but Because you can see everything's kind of landlocked in that compartment now. And things are starting to go down. But the queen's on the town hall, that's all I needed. And that one golem's doing a nice job kind of protecting her flank. I also drop a wizard just to get some more percentage. I'm at 54%. Uh, Queen's still taking out buildings, and she'll get targeted in just a moment. But I'll get a few more buildings out of her. And then I have like an archer up top, another wizard, so I can get a little bit more percentage. And I'll go ahead and fast forward. Uh, that wizard grabs that drill, and then the archer gets that dark barracks, and that's going to do it for this raid. Uh, but I think it was, what, 61%, so a pretty solid two-star you want to get in the 60s usually because uh, it can make the difference in a close war. All right, um, now we're going to take a look at number four, uh, Yeager taking on uh, the number four and bring in a nice max attack here. You can see uh, those three air defenses are all kind of in a uh, close proximity to each other. So I wanted to get in there with just two golems, his heroes and some spells and get the job done. Um, and also get the queen. She should hop into that compartment with the air defense up top there. Uh, drop a nice hog on that distracted point defense. I like that. Get a nice value. Uh, get some damage off that golem. And protects the flank of his kill squad. So awesome job. Plus triggers a giant bomb. I think he has another hog there, but it goes down. Um, but he drops in the quake spells, letting everything on in. Goes ahead and drops the king in just a moment. And then you can see a dragon and a valk coming out of the CC. It looks like he had a third golem. Yeah, he had he brought three golems on this just so he could get um, get in there and take out all the um, three air defenses. Plus, there's kind of a Tesla farm, so needs some tanking out front. 
Uh, I think that golem might have been a little bit late, but it worked out. Uh, the heroes aren't being targeted yet, so just don't... It's, sometimes it's good to hold on to that golem so it doesn't take unnecessary damage, uh, but get it out there once things start going down because uh, you want it to take the damage, not the heroes. But you can see it's at full health, doing a nice job. King kind of went off to the side here. Maybe you should have dropped the quakes a little farther over so that compartment was it opened up right there. Uh, but the queen takes out the enemy queen and she'll get that last air defense in just a moment. So everything kind of works out nicely here. And um, she actually steps up and gets a few more buildings too. So you can see uh, how valuable uh, that kill squad was. Because so she's going to get that air sweeper. I think that archer tower even. Uh, yeah, it goes down. So really when he starts deploying his balloons, there's just not a whole lot of the base left. Um, you can see that one Lava Hound bust has two of them. So as soon as that second bust, uh, the balloons get there. Perfect timing. Gets the pups for cleanup. Gets that air defense down very quickly. And uh, couldn't have been a better uh, balloon deployment. Just has... I don't even know if he lost a balloon. Just amazing, uh, awesome job. Has like 12 balloons or something crazy like that. Uh, wizard for cleanup up top. We'll fast forward because this base is over. Um, great attack to Yeager. Nice play and uh, good execution. All right, last building goes down, and that's the three star. Look at a few more. Um, Jelly, number uh, six, taking on the number five. And just, I want to apologize, I don't, ha I don't have any Town Hall 8 attacks because Town Hall 8s get 3-starred very early in the war. And because of that, we lost all the replays on the Town Hall 8s. So next recap, I'll make sure to show uh, maybe even exclusively Town Hall 8, something like that. Because uh, I know I've only been showing one or two per recap, and now I don't have any to show, so I'll try to make up for that. Um, but for this recap, it's just going to be Town Hall uh, 9s plus the one TH10 attack I showed uh, very first. But anyway here, uh, take a look at Jelly's attack, a uh, nice little go Vaho uh, with a little queen walk. Um, so it works out nicely here. Drops down the queen and then drops his kill squad on that side. So um, I watched his attack, I'm trying to remember what happens here. I think the queen goes away from the kill squad. I think that's what he wants to happen because there's a lava hound in the CC. Yeah, so he's the queen's kind of creating the funnel, then going her own way. Um, so that works out pretty nicely. Uh, wall breakers get destroyed. Um, drops that test wall breaker, but you have to see uh, if the test wall breaker triggers anything because a small bomb might go off a little bit delayed. So uh, be patient on the next group of wall breakers. Make sure there's nothing in that area that's going to take them down. Uh, cause this guy had a nice little single bomb there, which took out his wall breakers. Uh, so has to beat through that wall right there, but. Works out okay, and uh, the king is getting targeted, but level 30 king is going to do a lot of damage to this base, especially there's a Lava Hound in the CC. She does a nice job there, nothing's targeting the Lava Hound, everything's ground targeting, so it's not really going to be a factor in this attack. And also, look at how much this va value the queen's getting. She's taken out pretty much um, the entire side of a base. Uh, three compartments are being cleared out right now, and she's going to keep walking. Um, nice heal on the Valks. They're going to basically run through this entire base. Uh, the Quakes opened everything up, and they're going to take out all the bomb spots. So the Hogs just have to worry about taking out defenses and has a heal for the Hogs as well. Uh, already starting with a little bit of a surgical deployment at the top. Uh, Golem's still tanking. Lava Hound's still stuck on Golemites. Uh, so everything's working out perfectly. Still has a number of Valks up. Uh, they're pretty much at full health for the most part. And then drops that heal for the Hogs as they deal with the Skellies in the last few defenses. Uh, Queen's going to take out that wizard tower as he pops her ability. That's going to do it for this raid. Uh, nice job to Jelly. Um, like the wizards on the little builder's huts. I think he has an archer for the builder's hut on the bottom. But it uh, works out nicely here. And you can see how many troops he has left. A full golem, his queen, a bunch of hogs, some wizards, valks. Uh, just crushed this base. Fun to watch. Nice job to Jelly. Alright. Um, taking a look at one more. Um, a the triangle warlord with some triangles. Um, thought that was an A for a second. Goes ahead and just drops a balloon right on top of that. Uh, Tesla gets it taken out. Obviously, a cleanup attack knows it's there. Kind of a troll Tesla out there. Uh, but just kind of a basic uh go ho. Nothing special. Just three golems going down. Wizards to create the funnel. Um, if one wizard gets picked off up top but it still has the funnel broken for the most part. 
and then drops in a few wall breakers, gonna lay everything into that first compartment, and then it's gonna have a nice jump that's gonna let them into pretty much the rest. Oh, missed the jump. I actually didn't even see that when I watched this the first time. Misses the jump, just too far back, uh, has to at least touch that wall, and it doesn't. But for some reason, he had multiple wall breakers left over. Don't ask me why. Um, maybe just wanted to be safe on the first wall. But has enough wall breakers to actually bust into the second compartment, so that way the jump uh, they can reach it and get into the rest of the base here. Uh, dropping a poison on the CC troops, uh, the wizard, the queen, gonna shoot down that dragon. Getting both heroes taken out with his kill squad, which is always a bonus when you're doing a hog attack, so it works out nicely there. His king did go on a walk up top, um, but the queen's able to just stick behind the golems and take out uh, some of these buildings. That enemy king is close to going down, but he's stuck on a golem anyway, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, and the king looks like he's already starting with cleanup. Uh, but anyway, coming in with a heal spell for the hogs right there. Just uh, I think he knows where the bomb spots are at this point. Kind of a, du a double set right there and takes out a few hogs, but for the most part they're protected. Um, has a heal for them. They're going to keep moving through the base. They're taking a lot of damage right now, so needs to drop that heal quickly. And does um, skeleton traps like four point five point defense all at the bottom there. So hogs are taking quite a bit of damage, but has a number of them left over, and they're gonna get the job done, uh, defense by defense. They start dropping really quickly, but there, there's a lot of them, so they end up getting all the defenses taken out. And then, like I said, the king already starting with cleanup, just walking around the base. Even has a few wizards following him. Uh, you can see that last defense goes down, and the skeleton traps are pretty much gonna destroy the hogs at this point. Uh, just not enough left, but has pretty much a full health queen, a full health king, and some wizards. Uh, so we'll fast forward because it takes a little bit of time without the hogs, uh, but the kill squad does get the cleanup done. So it uh, worked out nicely. Good job, Warlord. Um, love watching the attack. Nice job. All right. That's going to do it for this recap. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the attacks. Like I said, some more Town Hall 8 uh, stuff will be coming out at some point because don't want to focus too much in Town Hall 9. I uh, want to get the other levels as well. And also want to get some uh, another series going or something. Uh, maybe some more live attacks live on Battle Day. Uh, let me know if you guys like the recaps or want to see more of the other uh, series that I've been doing. Because uh, I would be happy to bring back some of those if I can. So let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the comments below. But until then, I uh, hope you enjoyed the recap and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.